Office of the Stated Clerk at the Pittsburgh Presbytery. We wanted to demonstrate a walkthrough of submitting your end of the end of the year statistics because many of you have not done this before or don't remember what it was like last year. We thought this might be helpful. So in the reminders and emails that I have sent out, I have provided a link that takes you to this website for reporting your online statistics. This is the Office of the General Assembly website. This is not the JOT forms that you are recording your church and clerk info or your session info. Those links are also um, included in the email. Those go directly to us. That is uh, information for the presbytery. These statistical uh, reports like your membership numbers, financial stats, congregational life, those are reported here for the Office of the General Assembly. So you'll, you will click that OGA website link and it will take you here to the statistical reporting. When you get here and you are ready to enter your info, uh, you'll gather your statistics and have those approved by session before you are ready to report them online. And once you have that done, you're going to come to this page and you can click on either the Access the Year End Statistics Online Recording System or go to the Online Statistic Entry System. Either one of these two links will take you to the online reporting system. So I'll just click this top one here. This will take you to your login page. In the initial email I sent out in December, I included your username and password information. If you uh, cannot find that email or do not have this information, if you are a new clerk and you did not get the information from the previous clerk, uh, please contact our office and we can get that to you. Um, so you're just going to enter your username, which will be a number, and then um, your password, which is usually just a, an assigned randomized letter and number sequence. Um, assigned by OGA, but you are able to um, personalize this. Some churches have, um, but for most of you, you have not. And we should be able to log in here. Okay, we're um, this is a, just a, for demonstration purposes. We're not actually submitting stats for Buena Vista, but this is what your home page will look like. Um, so this will have your mailing address and any addresses that we have on file for you and um, the name of your church, of course. Um, so this is your church page, but the, the, when you're getting ready to enter your statistical um, numbers, you're going to um, go to the statistics question tab right here at the top. And this will allow you to enter your report. So this initial page is just instructions on what you're uh, what you're in inputting, um, and there's some general questions right here on whether you should contact us at the presbytery or whether you have questions that should be directed to OGA. And if uh, a lot of these questions are already answered on these fre this frequently asked questions link down here. So if you come into some sort of problem, you should check here first to see if there's an answer on the frequently asked questions page. When you're ready um, to input your statistics, all of the different statistical information pages are up here. Each one is separated. So you see membership stats, congregate congregational life stats, racial ethnic stats, financial, and finally submit. Um, so the submit stats button, uh, when you click that button, um, that will close you out for the year. So you don't want to click the submit stats button until you're completely done entering all of your information here. Um, before you click the submit stats button, you can enter information in these each one of these sections and log out and then return later to update or change the information should you need to. 
and then when you're when you're satisfied that you've gotten everything right you can click that submit stats and close yourself out for the year some people like to do that right away some people like to not do that uh, until close to the deadline just to make sure that they got everything correct so let's get started so we're gonna click on membership stats first since that is just the first um, title there so here is where you're gonna enter your membership stats your beginning membership uh, is automatically going to fill in your number that was your ending membership from the previous year. Um, and if you did not submit stats last year, it will just up, it'll automatically fill in the number of the last year that you entered a membership number. If for some reason this number is not correct, if your membership had changed between um, the end of the year report last year and this year, you're going to click different beginning membership and you can and enter that number here. Um, so that's only if your starting membership is different than um, your ending membership from the previous year. And should you need it, there's instructions over here on the right of e or on the left of each question to help clarify what they're asking you. So if you're in doubt, just refer to the instructions here. So pretty pretty much all the membership stuff is self-explanatory. Um, your, your gains, professions of faith, um, and reaffirmations of faith, your losses by, by certificate or deaths or deleted from the rolls. Um, and then you'll have your ending membership down here. Everything needs to tally up correctly. So if it's not, just double check your numbers or again, if you had a different starting number up here, that might, might be why things aren't totally up correctly. So um, it will not let you accept the stats unless this ending act active membership is um, the correct number between the losses and the gains. Um, and we do like to ask for the female membership or the OGA likes to ask just to, to see what the balance of um, female versus male in the congregations are. Um, and when you press accept at the bottom here, that will um, store your answers until the next time you enter. And, and again, unless you cl click that submit stats button. So it will um, store those numbers for you until you return or if you click submit. So then after you finish your membership stats, you can please go on to congregational life stats. Again, there's instructions here on the left beside each question just to clarify what they're asking. Um, so they're asking things like how many people were baptized, average attended, uh, average weekly worship attendance, um, people that are um, worshiping with you but are not yet members, um, number of ruling elders on the sessions, things like that, and the age breakdown of your congregation and um, the active participation in your um, Christian education programs. And again, once you um, submit all of your numbers here, you can click accept at the bottom of the page and that will save your numbers in there and then you can move on to the next section which is the racial ethnic stats uh, again just the breakdown of folks with disabilities in your uh, congregation um, some more descriptions about why they're asking this information and then the breakdown of the ethnic composition of the church. And, um, and again, you'll see here the total makeup um, is, will equal the total number of your active membership, um, just as, you know, how many of each person, you know, each ethnicity there is, and it, will, it, it should equal your total membership. And again, once you're finished with that, you click Accept at the bottom, so it will store those numbers for you. And then the final page um, is your statistical um, report. I just put in uh, the number 100 in here earlier as a test. Um, but you're going to put in your annual income. And you're not going to use any decimal points. Um, so you see up here, whole dollars only. Do not use punctuations or add cents. We're using whole dollars only. Um, it does not recognize the uh, the punctuation. So say you input one hundred dollars, um, one hundred dollars and fifty cents. When it comes through, um, you'll see that the decimal point did not show up. Even if I try to add it, 
it is um, it will change that number to a whole number and so if you say you had a budget budget of ten thousand dollars and try to add fifty cents it's gonna change that to you know a million dollar budget which um, you know it'll be a little bit out of whack for some of you so again just whole dollars only please um, annual expenses, annual income, and then it asks for a breakdown between mission, personnel, and facilities. Again, the explanation for those is over on the left. The breakdown of mission, personnel, and uh, facilities will not necessarily equal your total annual income because there's lots of other things in your budgets that aren't necessarily one of these three things. Uh, again, this is just for um, OGA to get um, a grasp on how um, the health of the congregations is doing um, uh, in their budgets. And once you have, uh, again, once you've entered those numbers, you click to accept here at the bottom. And uh, the last thing they have added is this little section for supplemental questions. Um, this is not required, but they um, are asking you to participate again just to get an idea of the health of the um, uh, in the basically the statistical makeup of the churches in um, in the presbyteries uh, again a breakdown of ages um, and uh, you know different languages uh, LGBTQ um, and uh, and things of that nature just to, again to get an idea of the makeup of our um, our churches and our and our presbyteries um, so uh, once you're ready to submit, you can go back to, to statistics questions here at the top tab. And then you can, um, when you're completely ready to close out, again, uh, you'll hit submit stats. And hitting submit stats will close you out. You will not be able to get back in after that to make changes. And then you'll have to contact the presbytery um, to go in on our side and help you make those changes. So again, don't click that submit stats until you're completely ready to close yourself out for the year. Um, at the end, um, if you are ready to see the report of what you did and make a copy for yourself or your church, you're going to go back to the church tab and you can just click this church report PDF right here. Once you click that, it will download a copy for you. And it should pop up, or um, it will uh, it will go into your download file on your computer, and you should have it there. And you can be able to save this on your computer or on the church's computer, or print it out for your records. Uh, another way you can do this as well is to I'll x that out. You can also go to reports here on the so we're on the church tab over here on the right. You can click your reports. And uh, you're gonna uh, your individual church report will also be your um, the same PDF that page there. And here you can actually um, click back at your um, previous year reports here as well. So you can click out um, previous year reports right there. So you can go back to 2018 and view you report and download a PDF there. Same thing for any of those previous years. Um, if you did want to change your password to something that you would remember more easy, this right up here you can, is where you would change your user password. And you can edit your mailing or physical address, uh, a couple of things there. But that's basically it. That is the walkthrough of our, um, of our statistical reporting entry for the year. If you have any questions, please contact the Office of the Stated Clerk at the Pittsburgh Presbytery. And uh, good luck with your reporting. Thank you very much.